Please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chairman Gilliard, would you say the invocation, please? Yes, sir. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we pause today to say thank you. For many of us have already been running and doing things that we needed to do for family, for job, for whatever the reason. But we pause now to say thank you. Thank you for this opportunity, God, that there are some in countries where they're not allowed to assemble and make decisions. But God, you have entrusted us with the education of this district of Putnam County. And God, endow each one of us with knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Give us empathy, God, that we may feel our brothers care when they come to us, oh God, and help us in all that we do to seek your guidance and to love on one another. God, we ask all of this in the precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome to the 2020 reorganizational meeting for the Putnam County School District. And uh, as superintendent, I'll be chairing the meeting initially until we select the chairman and vice chairman and take care of some other uh, appointments. And then I'll be turning the gavel over to the new chairman. I do want to congratulate our two board members who were sworn in today, Mr. Buckles and Ms. Gilliard. Congratulations okay. and it's a very nice and ceremony. Congratulations to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Look forward to all of us working, continuing our work with the year to come. So good things are ahead. At this time, we're going to uh, entertain a motion or nomination for the chairman of the Putnam County School District. And I saw Ms. Gilliard's hand go up first. Oh, yes. Man, I'd like her. to nominate Mrs. Holly Pickens oh, as chairman. I'll second that. Okay, we have a nomination of Holly Pickens. We have a second by Ms. Jane Crawford. Uh, we do uh, we entertain any nomination at a time? Okay. Any uh, any comments? Any uh, discussion on the motion that's on the floor? I think it's uh, she's serving as our vice chair now, and I think it's a, a good fit for her to move on in. Okay. Any other comments? I think she's an excellent choice to lead us um, as a school board this year. And I concur. Okay, thank you. If no, no other discussion, all in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. And congratulations to Holly Pickens. Congratulations. Thank Holly. you. For, uh, congratulations. The new chair of the Putnam County School District. Get to change seats. School board, excuse me. Y'all get to change seats. And yes, praise you get God. To, I get back to my old yeah. seat. And, and then, uh, it and then do we want to go, we're going to go ahead and do the yeah. vice chair. Mr. It, Mr. Superintendent, I'd like to nominate uh, Bud McKinnis. To I'd like to place. second that. Okay. I third it. Mr. Buckles made a motion to nominate Mr. Bud McGinnis. Ms. Jane Crawford once again seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Fine, and we'll compliment Mrs. Pickett's a great choice. She's cute, too. Bud, will, uh, <laughs> Bud is a, a great prospect to, to take over one day as our chairman, I think he'll be great as our vice chairman. Very good. I'm counting on Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Not to ever miss a meeting, right? Uh, I used to pray David wouldn't be out. It's not that now she prays that I'm out all the time. <laughs> you said it. No, I'm just teasing. Any other comments on the motion? Seeing none, all in favor of Mr. McGinnis being our vice chair, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Congratulations, Mr. McGinnis, vice chair for the Putnam County School Board. So do we want to, and I'll hand the gavel over a minute, do we want to change seats now or? Can I keep my seat? I'd move Jane over where Bud is. Bud. You want to go ahead and change and then I'll turn the gavel over after we do the other business? It's upside down. My own. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Chair, what's the chair? 
And once again, congratulations to our new board chair and vice chair. And we'll, we'll get your acceptance speech uh, after this. <laughs> okay, if you'll go to item number three, you should have a document or should have a um, attachment for the proposed meeting dates and times for the 2020-2021 school year. And I'll entertain a motion at this time. I make a motion that we accept the dates presented. Second. Okay. Ms. Crawford made a motion. Ms. Gilliard second that we accept the meeting dates and times. And uh, I'll entertain any discussion on the motion. And we do have some um, night meetings in there, Ms. Crawford. Yes, okay. I saw them. Okay, hearing none, all in favor of the proposed meeting dates and times for this year, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Okay, motion passes. Item number four, we'll uh, entertain a nomination for appointment of the board member to serve as the board's representative on the small school district council. My, Who's doing chair. it now? I, I nominate Mr. Bud McGinnis. Okay. Okay. I second that. Okay. Ms. Goyard nominated Mr. McGinnis. Mr. Buckle seconded for the appointment to the Small District Council. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion, please say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Congratulations, Mr. McGinnis. Thank you. <laughs> Number five, appointment of the board member to serve as the board's representative on the District Insurance Committee. I'd like to nominate Holly Pickens. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Crawford nominated Holly Pickens before she had a chance to say no. And, uh, <laughs> Mr. Buckle second. Well, she's done such a great job up to now. She loves it. Uh, any discussion on the motion? None. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was that was playing with it. <laughs> All in favor of uh, Miss Pickens serving on the insurance committee, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. She didn't say no, so I guess that's good. Congratulations. This ought to be an interesting number six appointment of <laughs> board member to serve on the board's representative on the expulsion committee. I'd like I'm to nominate volunteer. David Buckles. I was gonna. I was gonna has volunteer. Done, has done quite oh, you're gonna years. volunteer? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Aww. I'm gonna bite the bullet. Family or not, being okay. up for expulsion. So I hear Miss Gilliard <laughs> nominating. She's nominated herself. <laughs> no, let me let me nominate Sandy. Yeah. Okay. I'll nominate Sandy. All right, Mr. Buckles has nominated Sandy Gilliard, and do we have a second? I'll second. Jane will second the nomination of Sandy Gilliard. Any discussion on that? Sandy will do a wonderful job. And I'll serve. She does. Well, well, you did too, though. David. All in favor of Sandy Gilliard serving on the expulsion committee, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Congratulations, Ms. Gilliard, I think. Thank you, sir. Appointment uh, number seven, appointment of a board member to serve on the board's representative on the calendar committee. I'll nominate Jane Crawford. Okay. I'll that. Mr. Buckles nominated Jane Crawford. Is that all right, Tanya? I second. Okay. okay, Holly Pickens second of the motion. Any discussion? Well, it'll oh. help keep Jane here because she goes to New York so much to visit her family. She's not here for hey. most of the meetings. Hey, but she can do it virtually. And that's, that's right. So, hey. yeah, she's got it down pat. Huh? Yes, sir. All in favor of Miss Crawford serving on the calendar committee, Did please say aye. Did we get a second? Did we get yeah, a we second? got a second from Holly. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. <laughs> And finally, number eight, appointment of a board member to serve on the St. John's River State College Adult Education Advisory Board. I know this. I'm the, well, the I was McKinnis. just going to say, I know he's already got. Uh, he's on it. Somebody's got to do two. So it's going to be you. Because they want you on it, and you yeah, like he to does, he, he so. loves it. Okay, I heard a uh, motion he by Ms. Crawford to nominate <laughs> Ms. McGinnis. It. I'll second it. Mr. Buckles is second in that. Any discussion? All in favor of Mr. McGinnis serving on the St. John's River State College Adult Education Advisory Board, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. All right. At this time, Mr. Attorney, I do turn the gavel over. Yes, Is that correct? That's correct. There's one other one there. The value adjustment. Ms. Yeah. It, I don't know if it's at a different time or not. Different time. It's, a different it's at time. a different time. Okay. I yeah, love thank that. You. Thank you. While Rick's bringing that up, I will let you guys know that our Southern Group uh, that works with us.
to lobby legislatively. Uh, David Browning was selected as one of the top 100 most influential um, <laughs> lobbyists in the state. Awesome. And his firm is representing us, and we've yeah, got he, a nice he dumped us, though. that he's assigned to us. So I'd let you know. Okay, so um, we're at public comment. Do we think we have no public comment? So now we're to the public hearing. Um, it says that the public hearing items will be considered at the December 1st board meeting. Okay. So that means we're not doing it now? So does that mean we're skipping over this? We're skipping over it. It's, it's just an announcement that it will be done at the December 1st board meeting. Okay. So we'll, we'll consider these December 1st. Okay. 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 And you, you had asked to um, not conduct business in this meeting, so that's why we postponed it. Oh, okay. Right. I was wondering about that. Yeah, that's what the public uh, uh, notice said. Okay. Okay. Works for me. All right. So we don't have any emergency items. So now we'll go to board reports. So we'll start with Miss Gilliard. Good. <laughs> I just want to say uh, thank you to the board for your support for the two years. It was. I won't necessarily say baptism by fire, but we did come under fire in some cases, but we persevered because at the bottom of all that we handled or took care of, it was what we felt was in the best interest of our district and our teachers. And I would just like to say I, I appreciate everything. I learned a whole lot. And to Holly, you have my support and to all the board members. I'm done. Thank you. I could not be, as I said earlier at that real, at the swearing in ceremony, I could not be more proud than to serve with all of you on the board. Jane sometimes a little <laughs> like that. You know, but, but she reminded you to introduce your family to Yes, she so. did, and she, I didn't have my mask on at the meeting, and she made me get back. So she's, That's right. She is like having my mother with me. <laughs> Your, anyway, your I, blessed I love, mother is I love, all. I love her like I love each of you. So it's all it's all good. I uh, I am looking forward to trying to get into some of the the situations that I know that we're going to have to deal with in the coming months. It's not going to be an easy road. I mean, people don't understand some of the things that go on sometimes and, and they don't always understand the purview of the board versus the purview of the superintendent. Right. But we have, we're gonna have a full plate coming. And I, and I, I, uh, I think we can put our heads together and get this thing rocking and rolling because we're not the only district in the United States facing similar problems. Anyway, I couldn't be happier to, to be here with you guys and uh, Rick. I look forward to uh, you and your staff keeping us Thank keeping you. us in the good. Thank you, Jane. Thanks, Ms. Buckles, Mr. McGinnis. Okay. Uh, I'll echo what uh, the other board members have said, and uh, I, I notice David's happy face now. <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> did have a chance to go to the uh, Interlochen's historic playoff game last Friday night. They didn't manage it so well on the field, but um, wish all the all the guys that played football this year best. They they put it all out there for a very uh, tainted season, I guess we could say. And um, just look forward to working with the board again for the next two years. And um, just uh, it's a learning process for me, and just hope we can meet the needs of our students and our and our teachers all in a positive way. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McGinnis. Ms. Crawford? Well, since Mr. Buckles brought it up, I was dismayed <laughs> at the government office that they're not required to wear masks and that many of our county leaders were maskless. I feel like they and we are to set examples for other people in Putnam County and most of all 
our students. Um, I was, I did tell David to get back, but um, I just think it's really important right now. I mean, it's getting worse all over the United States. Um, you know, but you can't, I guess you can't force anybody, but you don't have to be around them. Um, I felt like this morning after Miss uh, after Mr. Buckles and Miss Gilliard were uh, sworn in, I felt like when Sandy spoke, I'd been to church. She can just, out of nowhere, off the cuff, off her lapel, give a speech that just uh, is just amazing. And every, she's a preacher. I know. Okay. <laughs> David, I, I know. Um, everything she said was perfect and so fitting for our school board and our superintendent. And I, I, I just felt blessed that I heard her speak this morning. I was so glad I went to the swearing in. I'm thrilled um, that David and Sandy were uh, reelected without any opposition. Uh, I know that, as Sandy said, it was a God thing. Um, I know that we've we've got a long road ahead of us um, with everything that's coming down the pike, basically because of COVID. Yeah. David mentioned it this morning. Our attendance issues uh, will plague us um, as long as this virus is still rampant. Um, I don't envy Rick, but I'm so happy that Rick is our superintendent again for four more years. Uh, I'm I'm just thrilled by that, and I look forward to working with you for two of them. I, th I think we're going to be able to do some great things. This board has worked well together. We all respect each other. Um, I get aggravated, and you all know with who, occasionally. <laughs> um, but his, his <laughs> yes, you, his, uh, his wealth of knowledge uh, can not be compared to anyone. He's just aggravating. Um, well, I, I try to aggravate you. I know, and I need you to stop. I never have, though. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, 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 I look forward to uh, working with this board, and uh, I'm happy to be here. And that's all. Thank it, you, Ms. Crawford. It pains me to say this, but she's got the best heart in the world for kids. <laughs> it pains him to it say. It really pains him to say. <laughs> she's so unlike her dad. And, and, you know, My dad was... He was wonderful and nice. <laughs> and all, but she, she gets on to me ever since she was a kid. It's been that way. But, but go ahead. It's called self-survival. Okay. Um, first, just let me say thank you for even um, thinking that I have enough knowledge to do this and follow behind Miss Gilliard. That is a, a real um, tough thing to do. I did um, go back and look at some meetings to just kind of get a feel for what it might be like if I was elected chair. And you, you amazed me many times how you could speak with people and, and calm everybody down. And you so know, we, organized. we did have some, you know, that were, it, it was a little um, confusing for everyone. Um, but thank you, you did an excellent job. <laughs> and um, I can definitely say for this whole board, the only reason we're here is because we love children yes. and we love Putnam County yes. and we want it to be a better place. So um, thank you. Um, I, I just hope I do a half as good a job as Sandy did. Just do what you do. <laughs> um, do what you do. I did get to go to um, a JFG induction ceremony um, in at Miller Intermediate. Luckily, Miss Cormany texted me and told me about it because I just got my invitation and it was last Friday, but it was really good. It wasn't well attended, obviously, but it was really good and the kids knew their parts and they take a pledge and I just think if you can start kids really at that age mm -hmm. in middle school, you know, thinking about careers and schools and it just really helps and the there were three or four children that when I came in to sign in in the front office, um, they were waiting to be escorts down to the cafeteria. Mm. And the young man that walked with me opened the doors for me, which, you know, I yeah. really appreciate yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And um, he opened the door and he, he was speaking to me, not like a lot of kids, you know, just walk with their head down. And his name was Jeffrey and 
he told me what a good school Miller Intermediate was and that he had loved coming to school mm -hmm. and it had not always been like that for him. Good. So I thought, good. wow, this is, you know, oh, great. Good. So it, it really made me feel good and, and they're doing a great job at, um, at Miller. And so I didn't tell Mr. Adams that, but I, I probably should make a special effort to say something to him. Um, and so that's all I have. Bear with me. Um, be patient and kind because I'm going to make mistakes. We know? all do. And, uh, we all do. But, and I do can't wait until we can have the whole board up here and then there's two people between these two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so that's all I have, Mr. Uh, board Attorney, Mr. Douglas. Uh, the, the biggest uh, legal news going on around the state right now, of course, is coronavirus and how every school district is being affected and handling it and um, taking it day by day, continuing to monitor uh, the current spike and um, following the, the guidelines as uh, promoted by public officials. It's not going to go away. Thank you, Mr. Douglas. Dr. Sorensen? Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, first of all, before I talk about the board, I want to welcome back Sharon Cormany. Yay! <laughs> I walked in yesterday and she was in her office and I, and I had a sigh of relief, like she's back. You know, everything's coming back to normal, but she's she's had a rough time, but we're glad to have her back and she's kind of taking her time getting acclimated. I want to thank Jackie Smith and Deborah Crowley for filling in and they're still filling in. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for all the yeah. and uh, I think you never appreciate somebody as much until they're gone and uh, it's like everybody has to come together and fill in. But Welcome back, Sharon. I want to congratulate our board. And again, thank you for the, the past four years. And uh, I know some faces have changed, but this board has worked very close together. We've uh, overcome a lot of things. We've got a lot of things ahead of us, like Mr. Buckles talked about. Um, but you know, one thing I see, especially seeing Holly up there as chair, you know, we, we've all seen you when you started your first meeting here, you know, several years ago. And then it's just like we talk about with our our employees here, we want to see growth, and you guys are growing. You've gone through the, you know, the school board training and all that, but just to see your confidence growing and just running a meeting and being a part of that, you're definitely serving our children well just by the fact that you're growing into your own position. So thank you for all you do, and thank y'all for your willingness to be leaders of the board. Um, I do want to mention that uh, our staff met yesterday they meet every Monday, but we are now, uh, and we've been talking about it for some time, but I think we're in a point now where we are going to be starting the planning process of developing a new strategic plan. Good. Okay. And the last one that this board uh, developed was, I believe, 2014. And we are now, we have done some of the groundwork, or 15, one of those years. We've started the groundwork actually before the pandemic. We started uh, working with different stakeholders about you know what does a Putnam County School District graduate look like? And I think we went through the same process with y'all. And we are accumulating that data. We're actually gonna be sending out a survey in December to uh, as many people as possible. Uh, parents, businessmen, teachers, students, all of our stakeholders. And uh, asking different questions about what they think is important in our district and then we will be bringing that information back to you and we'll be you know, working on that plan. But the goal is to, to start the process. We have a timeline uh, involved or established and we're looking at probably May or June to try to finalize this process. So it is a long process, but I think it's gonna help guide our work here for the next several years. So it should be a very- Is that like that thing we did in Austin when we- Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, that exact thing with yeah. uh, Avid, right? Avid, yeah. Just want to bring you up today on the financial situation. Uh, right, we don't have any updates as far as uh, you well, know. I the thought loss you were going to say we didn't have any money <laughs> when you said financial statement. You say that we don't have. That's why Ooh. Kim's here. She's <sighs> answering any questions about. The All right. <laughs> now we are we are working. Um, our um, executive team have have been working hours and hours on planning and trying to do everything to plan for the worst case scenario. And again, we're not at liberty to 
release all that information now. Right. But one thing we have done, which is out there, is we have offered a early retirement saw that. plan. Yeah. We had one back in the summertime. We've offered another one, a much more robust plan. And uh, I've heard good things. Yeah. So we've had some takers. Well, we have some people that are inquiring. Yeah. And uh, you know, we've asked them to meet with HR and you know just to discuss their options and that type of thing. But we, this is an opportunity if people are thinking about getting out, this would be a good time to do so, just because it might help it us with it. some options later. Yeah. So we'll, we'll uh, provide you with some updates as uh, things happen. May even want to workshop it at one time at okay. some point. But right now we are waiting on uh, a couple things, some decisions from the state as well as uh, you know what's happening at the national level too. So we'll keep you abreast of that. Uh, I do want to point out, just kind of make a public service announcement that um, you know our own epidemiologist, um, Kenneth Foster, has suggested that students and parents and teachers be very cautious over the, this upcoming holiday, Thanksgiving. You know, especially when you mix with family and you go out of town or all the things that you've heard of. When you come back to school, what we don't want to happen is to see an uptick in our schools. So yeah. we're just asking everybody to practice social distancing, wearing your mask, everything that we've been asking you to do, but especially during this holiday period of time. This can be very important. And finally, I just want to give a shout out. I did this on the radio this morning. Um, you know, every year about this time, we have the Bartram Frolic, and we, where we have all of our second graders come and participate in that. And that is such a rich part of our history here in Putnam County, where they come down to the river, riverfront and they have all the tents set up well, of course, practicing uh, safety, that was not in the, uh, the plan this year. So we had some of our employees work closely with the Bartram Frolic folks, and actually we, we have done a virtual awesome. Bartram Frolic. So and awesome. I want to congratulate Susan Gaborio, who is amazing in working with technology, <coughs> technology. and all the instructional planning and all that. And, um, you know, she's been able to make this experience for our second graders. So we didn't really have to skip it. It's just kind of in a different That's mode. Right. So we're, we're having to work at doing things a little different, but still it's important that we continue doing as many of these traditional things as, uh, as we can. So hats off to Susan. And there's been so many amazing people <coughs> that are doing some things to go out of their way to make education meaningful for our kids. So thank you again and uh, glad to be here and look forward to this upcoming year. Madam Chair. Okay. <coughs> Anyone have anything else? If not, this meeting is adjourned. Short, oh. sweet.